Welcome YouTube, Bobby G here. Today I have another opportunity to strip one of my female lithobates. Um, so let's go through this together and see how it works out. Let's talk. Alright, so first of all we'll start by setting up the egg tumbler. I haven't done this before, it looks super simple, so uh, let's see how that goes. Um, I've already got a line in the air tube ready for the tumbler. Uh, here's the tumbler here, show it up a little bit closer, just a couple suction cups there, a small sponge in the bottom, um, the grating to to uh, let the, the water flow through. That's where the eggs are going to sit. And, uh, and then up further we have uh, an air stone in the upper chamber of the tubing that will create the water flow. So let's get this going first. Make sure that goes well and then we'll continue. So I'll just zoom in here a little bit. I think the, uh, the trick on, on this is to get the uh, air line and get the uh, air pressure to be uh, accurate. So I actually think it's going to be might be better if I move the air stone in it a little bit lower uh, but we can try it just like that you know we won't know until the eggs are in the tumbler to see if they're actually tumbling a little bit uh, so I mean that was uh, too easy uh, so just like last time I'm going to use this uh, small tub uh, to strip her in that gives me lots of room to handle her uh, it may be a little bit on the large side but Let's use it. adjusted so that we can we can watch uh, in my container there what what's next all right I don't know if you can see in there but there's <laughs> there's one egg down here and she's spit a whole bunch out in the net which I'll show you they're all right here there's uh, quite a few in there Without counting, there's probably a dozen. So let's strip the rest. Uh, I don't know how good my camera is. One day I'm gonna get a better camera because I don't like the quality of this one. But uh, I will try to uh, zoom in and strip her in front of the camera. Okay, move her back into the camera. So, uh, so as I learned uh, from my friend Mabuna Marcus, 
uh, and you can watch his video. I'll put a link to it to be sure that you can see. Uh, this is the, you know, what I think is the best method. Um, you can you can grab her slowly and try to get her her uh, her fins here going in the right direction behind her, so you don't injure them. And then just hold her like so. And I'm going to use my finger to open her mouth which she doesn't really want to do but you I don't know I hope you can see what's going on there you can see her spitting the eggs out she's got quite a few in there so we'll give her a little rest there for a second and we'll see if we can get some more Pretty excited about this. Uh, this is going to be, uh, you'd remember from the last video, uh, when I went to strip one, I didn't know uh, uh, when she had spawned. And uh, when I actually collected her from the tank and brought her out, I tried to strip her, there was nothing left in her. So when I went back in, I took the net and there was uh, quite a few fry in the net. So that was exciting too. But I really want to try the tumbler out and see how this goes. And we're definitely, we definitely have a, a more uh, potential here. So let's try this one more time. Make sure that she's, she's done because I'd like her to be able to eat if she can. Just open her mouth. And I'll, I'll pump her cheeks a little bit to flush the water out. I don't see any, uh, nothing, nothing else coming out, and I think that's that's that part of the project done. So that was pretty easy. Um, if you just follow those few steps, uh, she's certainly tired out now. I'll place her back in the aquarium gently, and uh, I'll check to make sure that later on today or tomorrow morning that she's eating. All right, so I think what I'm going to do here is I'll, I've taken the, uh, the bottom section of the tumbler off. And uh, I think I'll stand it up in the water here. I'll place the eggs in. And then uh, I'll cap the bottom of the, uh, of the tumbler with my hand to hold the water in there. And I'll remove them that way, set them in the tank, and, uh, and get them tumbling at a decent rate. So, we'll just get them out of the net. Maybe that would be easier. Make sure they're all out. Okay. And I'm gonna give them a quick count can. So two, three, four. Okay, so there's 39. I think that's a pretty good haul from these lithobates. Because uh, I, I had read that they don't generally have too large a, a brood. So I think that's pretty good. Just happen to have this uh, little, it's a brine shrimp net, but I'll scoop them up with that. And set them in the tumbler. Got to be careful. I might have just squished one. Be 
maybe they'd rather I uh, just do it that way. That seemed to work better. like it. Uh, you can see them in the bottom there possibly. So I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to cap the bottom to hold the water in. Maybe that doesn't really matter, but uh, and I'll transfer them over to the tank and I'll adjust the camera so you can see. Alright, so here they are in the tumbler. Um, I'm quite certain that's too much flow for them, so I will turn it down. I, I think we want them to be just, um, just barely kind of dancing off the bottom. Uh, I suppose to a point where none of them are, are sitting still. Which is about right there. I think that looks good. But I, I think that's pretty good right there. Right there. Well, there you go. I've got the uh, lids and everything back on now. I've actually moved the uh, tumbler over to the right a little bit just so that when I take video of it, it's a little bit easier. I'm not taking a video of the corner of the tank. And there we have the uh, eggs tumbling. All right, so there you have it. Uh, thanks for joining me today. Uh, I hope that, that uh, I mean, today this was a very successful um, trial, I suppose and uh, hopefully uh, we get some fry out of it. Uh, I will take a short video every day of the development of the eggs and, uh, and then I will piece it together in a, uh, in a video so that you can, you can watch it day by day. Um, so if you like the video, please like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to hit the little bell so that you can follow along with me.